Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In the last video, we were uh, we explained the gas giants. Now we will we will try to explain the rest of the solar system and maybe uh, maybe our on about our universe too. Moons are natural satellites that orbit other bodies. Six of the eight planets in the solar system have their own moon systems. These moons have frozen seas and explosive volcanoes. Ice crust. Europa, which is a moon of Jupiter, is covered in an icy surface that may be 30 kilometers thick. In comparison, uh, the ice sheet on Antarctica is only just 4.8 kilometers thick. That is a lot more thicker than Antarctica. So here are the biggest moons. First we have our moon, only having a diameter of about 3,500 kilometers. Next is Callisto, almost two times the size of the moon. Uh, not two times, actually, like in area, two times the size of the moon. 4,821 kilometers. Next up is Titan, 5,152 kilometers. And next is Ganymede, the biggest moon in the solar system, uh, 5,262 kilometers. Yes. Volcanoes. Volcanoes on the moon Io, which is the moon of Jupiter, throw plumes of material up to 300 kilometers high above the surface. In comparison, the uh, eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980 threw a cloud of ash only up to altitudes of just 24 kilometers, meaning Io has something going on in its core, right? Alright, moon count. Um, Earth only has one moon, obviously. Mars has two tiny little moons. Uh, Neptune has 13 moons, Uranus has 27 moons, Saturn has more than 60 moons, and Jupiter ha also has more than 60 moons. Small moons. Many moons in the solar system are small and irregularly shaped, like Deimos. Moons, um, Earth's moon is 200 times the width of Mars's tiny moons, Phobos and Deimos. Deimos is uh, 15 uh, kilometers in diameter, almost uh, not even close to the size of Manhattan, but which is uh, 21.5 kilometers, I mean, showing how small Deimos really is. The year uh, 1610, the Italian scientist Galileo Galilei, pronounce it correctly, uh, discovered the largest four moons around Jupiter, Callisto, Ganymede, Europa, and Io. Mars's moons of Phobos. Oh, wait, I did not mean that. Fun fact, Mars's moon Phobos has a declining orbit. This means that it will be torn apart by gravity in 10 million years. So that means bye-bye, Phobos. You're, you're no longer going to be a popular geometry dash level anymore. As Mars. As well as the planets, the solar system contains millions of small bodies. These include dwarf planets, asteroids, and comets. Small pieces of rock that orbit the, orbit the sun are called asteroids, or if they are quite large, they are called dwarf planets. Most of these lie in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. About half of the mass of the belt is contained in the four largest asteroids. Ceres, Pallas, Vesta, and Hygieia. Hygieia has a diameter of 350 kilometers, Vesta, 525 kilometers, Pallas, 530 kilometers, and Ceres with a mass of 952 kilometers. That's even more than Deimos. About half the mass of the uh, belt is contained uh, by in the four largest asteroids. Again, I repeat. 952 kilometers is the diameter of Ceres, making it the biggest asteroid in the asteroid belt. Ceres is so big that it is also called a dwarf planet. Well, it looks like a dwarf planet compared to Earth. Comets are dirty balls of ice that orbit the sun. The, the a comet's tail will only form as it approaches the sun. Sometimes, asteroids slam uh, and comets slam into planets and moons. When this happens, they create enormous holes in the ground called craters. So this is the process of uh, colliding. 
Number one, the asteroid or comet hits will throw up debris up and out. Number two, the debris settles around the hole, creating the lip of the crater. Number three, the center of the hole rises to create a bulge in the middle. According to fun fact, according to NASA, there are about 1,290 asteroids that we can know of that could crash into Earth. The sun, our our nearest star is the sun. Far below its surface, tiny atoms are squeezed and squashed until they fuse together. This releases a huge amount of energy which escapes as light and heat.